Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And here are five things that you should have before update 20 in Blocks Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Gnome when purchasing Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel. This will really help us make better videos. Okay, guys, so let's make this fast. First up, number one is Blocks Fruits. You need at least two of these fruits in order to fully enjoy this upcoming update. First up is the portal fruit. What? Gamer Gnome portal fruit? Yep guys, you heard it correctly. Guys, you need portal fruit for long quests that requires you to travel from island to island. Like for example, what do you call this? The Cursed Dual Katana quest, right? You need to travel from island to island. There you go. And with this fruit, everything will be a lot easier. Oh, by the way, and since we're already in the Haunted Castle, let's try our luck with the bones. So guys, if I get the Hollow Essence first try, you will subscribe, okay? Let's go, let's go. Oh, Guys, please do subscribe and make sure to like. Anyways, we're moving on. Gamer Gnome, I know that Portal Fruit is good for traveling, but how about grinding? Guys, I have a video of this. I was able to reach max level using the Portal Fruit. Guys, actually, Portal Fruit is really good for grinding. If you use the F skill properly, you can one hit, actually not one hit, one skill every mob in the game so far. So I don't know if uh, there will be stronger mobs. Most likely there will be in update 20, but so far this fruit is good for grinding. Okay, but what if I don't have portal fruit? Is it over? No guys, there's an alternative. How about using the light fruit? Okay, so guys, light fruit has one of the fastest flight, if not the fastest, especially the awakened one, right? So guys, moving from island to island is not a problem. But how about grinding gamer now? Guys, we're talking about light fruit here. This fruit has lots of skills for grinding as well as you can M1 mobs. But uh, I think from the cake land to the final island, everyone has hockey. Okay, so this is the alternative. Next up for the third fruit. Guys, I hope that you have this one. Yes. What fruit is this? You really need the Buddha fruit if you want to grind on your own, mostly on your own because again, you don't know if your friends are always online, right? So let's use the Hollow Essence a while ago. Why do you need Buddha fruit game or no? Again guys, with this fruit, you can 1v1 almost all bosses, if not all guys. 1v1, there are quests that will require you to beat bosses like for the CDK, right? Not that hard but if you have the Buddha fruit, everything will be a lot easier. Guys, there you go. Last video. Oh, well, we got the hollow site again, but we already have this one. Okay, so that's it for the last two fruits. Guys, uh, you will really enjoy update 20 if you have this one. Yes, first stop is the dragon fruit. This will be having a rework. Please, please make a hybrid form, please. The other one is the control fruit. So again, this will also be reworked. Hopefully, they include or awaken this one. Okay, so Awakening, Dragon, or Control Fruit, or Rework, everything will be good. And speaking about Awakening, this brings us to our next requirement, guys, the Fragments. You really need Fragments to enjoy this upcoming update. And for faster grinding, you can use your Buddha Fruit to solo grind raids. So for the raids, maybe choose Flame. Yes, Flame Raids, because for me, this is the easiest. Why? Because islands are near, right? <laughs> Some islands, you need to jump a lot. Boss is easy to beat. Just don't get thrown in the lava. <laughs> also, an additional requirement, awaken your race V4. Why? Because again, this will really help you grind. Awaken race plus Buddha Z skill. For me, that's human race. So as you can see, there's a meter. I think the maximum is, I think it's 150 or 148. For me, it's 148 or 149. Don't get hit in order to maximize the increased damage. For additional information, it took me uh, almost one minute, yeah, more than one minute to finish the final island. Solo, okay guys, this is solo. And for every raid, you will get 1,000 fragments. So is it easy? Actually, it's kind of hard. <laughs> also guys, you need fragments in order to awaken fruits, change your race, and also unlocking new items. So this is also a requirement, for example, the Soul Guitar or the Cursed Dual Katana. So my question now is, were you able to awaken all races? Comment in the comment section. Guys, check this out. Just by changing back to human race, I think it took me 9,000 fragments. See that? That's a lot, right? <laughs> well, anyways, for our last requirement, 
we got the money okay so it can be used to buy fruits on stock it's also a requirement in buying and unlocking a new item so guys in the third C I think the best one here is the beautiful pirate why because it will give you 50,000 bellies for every kill if you have two times money you will get 100,000 but if you're gonna ask me I don't suggest grinding here why because in the public server this is almost always dead and if you're in the private server you need to wait for it to spawn or you can use robux but guys it will take you time so let's head to the second C I'm gonna show you other ways to grind really fast so given that you're really strong guys I suggest that head to this mob instead I'm talking about the swan pirates why because this this mob is really easy to defeat and they're near to each other also the quest giver is really near so I'm gonna time it guys there you go guys I think it took me like 20 seconds just to finish one quest there you go guys I am max level okay so this mobs cannot damage me okay actually they can damage me but the damage is really really low so I can tank their damage at 7 and that's 8 okay so for 24 seconds I was able to grind 10 to 20k again 20k if you have two times money guys imagine doing that and you don't need to wait for it to spawn right next up guys if you don't want that let's head to the first C okay so guys for high level players this will be really good to server hop go to the prison there are chests here like for example this one there you go so I got 2k from this one <laughs> this two times money will not work on chests anyways let's focus on the mobs here Guys, do server up, okay? For example, you're gonna defeat Warden. 6k or 12k if you have 2 times money. So defeat it really fast. There you go, let's time it. Okay, that's 6 or 12k, right? Time is running. Next up, Chief Warden. Okay. So this will give you 10k or 20k. Okay, and the final boss is Swan. Let's compare this to Beautiful Pirate. Guys, Beautiful Pirate, not easy to defeat compared to these mobs. And it will only take you, I think, 28 seconds. There you go. And this will give you a total of 31 to 62,000 bellies in 28 seconds. Okay, next up. At the Marine Fortress for low-level players, or if you're kind of lazy, guys, you can do this. Okay, just lure this boss, Vice Admiral. Guys, just lure him here and do wall strap. Make sure to left use your left clicks. Oh, this oh, our character is too strong. Let's use a sword, saber. There you go. We don't have stats on sword. Just left click, guys. Okay, and do server up. So every kill, you can get 15 to 30k in less than 15 seconds. Okay, so that's it. There are the requirements. I hope that you are ready for update 20. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.